What in the heck? We're going hiking and Joel shows up in sandals. What is up with these shoes? With me. Joel, explain these shoes, please. I'm still on patrol. Gout, right foot. Honky Joel, donkey, peaky ponky. Joel has gout on his right foot on the top. If I if I run into, dude, don't put that camera on those toenails, dude. You Somebody's gonna right. think I'm a, 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 a you look elf, all right. an elf or something. Uh, uh. Joe, you know we're going hiking today, full blown, and you show up in sandals. Dude, Ticks, I already, you already snakes. told you I got gout. Ticks, snakes. But I'm not, I'm not, Coyotes. I'm not backing out. Mountain lions. Put your chaps on. All right, guys, this is what I get. Joel says he's gonna go with me, and he shows up in flip flops. Joel, you I don't need this a. This in case I need to hit somebody with it. <laughs> Let me get uppy, uppy, and out of control. All right, guys, we're just waiting for Joel to get ready here. Joel shows up in flip-flops, and this is his hiking stick. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't. What is this? Hey right, guys, uh, Joel's wearing sandals, so <laughs> just to be safe, we're gonna spray him down with some of this. Look at those freaking toenails. Even though he's not gonna go down, I am on the cars today. Yep. If he rubs Perfect. up against anything. Perfect. Oh yeah, I'm 100% safe there now, Dooner. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You ain't getting a bite of this. Let me do the back of this leg. You ain't getting a bite of this one. <laughs> no, no, no. No lamb chops for you today. <laughs> this lamb ain't giving up no chops. Where's the round rope? It's here somewhere. It's in the bag. Huh? I use that because it's longer and it's compact and it's... Alright guys, we stopped here just to glance over. Even though we didn't see anything from the road. Joe, this is actually really steep. You can't tell, but maybe this, maybe this is the one, Dooner. Oh, it's real. Oh, that down over there, just a dirt slide. No, but this, you, I don't think you can make it up this. You got to. You have to have rope. There's your freaking car down there. Got your damn rope up, dude. Joe, you're going down. Joe, look at that chunk of car down there. Oh, there's a little wad or something there. There's just a piece of sheet metal there, but there's a big one there. Yeah, there's a car down there. Are you sure you haven't gone down on that? No, I've never gone down this. Well, you better turn the engine off because this is it. <laughs> there's a lot of car there, dude. Guys, check this out. A lot. Yeah, that won't stop. <laughs> Holy cow. Until it bounced out. Joe, I don't think you can make it up this without a rope. Oh, hogwash. <laughs> Dude, you got things to hang on to all the way. Get your ass down there. You're, you're gonna cut. You're gonna have ticks. You're gonna get ticked out. You ain't got no time to wait. Get your camera. Get your equipment on and go. All right, guys. I'm gonna just tie off on this guardrail. Joel says this looks easy, but it's not. Everything looks easy. Guys, I'm just gonna throw this hiking pole down. I don't have to worry about it going down. Where are you going down? I don't know. Where should I? Right next to this truck. I don't want to cut myself. It's all steps. How are you gonna how are you gonna cut yourself? Do you like those little steps you got right here? You have gloves, you have gloves on dinner. <laughs> when when it when you're coming up, you're gonna have your rope.
Guys, I gotta like try to walk sideways right here where it's flat and get my pole, throw it farther. All this water is running under these barriers. You know, most of it's supposed to run down this, but for the most part, this will all erode over time, I believe. All right, guys, we're 148 feet down because this rope is 140 feet long. We're almost to the bottom. And there is a car here. No, I'm good. That's totally just in a ball. It appears to be modern though. I don't want to fall on this guardrail or cut myself open really bad. To me, it's a modern car just from the wheels. Oh, it's a Toyota. Look at the center cap on that Toyota. There's a center cap there. You grab my hiking stick and there's a Toyota imprint on it. But this car is just in shambles. Wow. Holy cow. I don't think anyone's going to be able to identify this car. I mean, they might be able to, but... Holy cow. It's a Toyota. I've seen the center cap on there. And it's been down here forever. It's rolled and rolled. I'm not sure if this was stolen or an actual accident, but this car is almost folded in half. Joel, this car is almost folded in half. Almost what? You hear the walkie talkie? This car is almost folded in half. Hey, these walkie talkies work good twitters. How did they get folded in half? Rolling. Just from rolling all the way down. High speeds. Well, that car down below looks like you've got another 200 foot to get to that car down below. But that car down below, that thing's almost in one piece. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm not sure if you can see him, but look how high he is up there. Holy cow. Guys, this appears to be, as like last video, this is another really, really old car. Like 30s, 40s, I'm guessing. Joel, this car is like a 30s or 40s. The roof is collapsed, but I might be able to walk behind it and see what kind of car it is. I'm really hitting these bushes guys and knock these ticks off if there is any because last video like I said found three ticks on my clothing holy cow look at this thing guys Unbelievable. I don't 
don't see no bees. It looks like some kind of animal might might have been living in here or something. Wow. Oh wow. A frog just jumped in the water. <laughs> that was crazy. There was a little tiny frog. The whole front cliff is gone from the crash. I'm sure it demolished or who knows over time. There's just so many old cars out here. Oh, there's the frog. Let me see if I can film it with my GoPro. Oh, it's gone now. I'm not sure if I want to try to open this trunk. There might be a beehive or something in there. I don't know. Hey, yeah. Get into the Joel, what you're seeing is the back of the car. The engine compartment's gone. Oh, okay. I get it now. So, oh, wow. So the whole front of the car is sheared off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The whole front of the car is gone. Guys, should I try to open this trunk? I mean, I don't see no bees or nothing, no wasp. Oh, it's jammed. All right, guys, we made it. We've looked at both cars. We might look at the other car on the way up again, but let me take a couple photos and we'll be on the road. We're going to continue on. We're going to try to find as many cars as possible before it gets dark. We didn't drive 150 miles one direction just to film this, so let's keep rolling. Stay with me. Hello. Guys, now the hard part getting out of here. <clears throat> the wind just picked up. Guys, I'm not sure what this is called, but it comes up every spring. I'm sure my YouTubers will say something about it, but it's really pretty. Stay with me. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm coming up. I think. Guys, Joel's in the army and he was a kid. Well, not a kid, but how old are you when you're in the army, Joel? 20? 19? 19. San Diego, California. Come on, dude. Make, make like you're in the army. Make like you're 20 and move your ass up that hill. Come on, pull. Joel, what year were you in boot camp? 1970. <laughs> Smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> she don't 
only flicked her ass just once. <laughs> Come on, if my granny could do this, you could do this. Oh, God. Pull! You made it, you made it. Yeah, guys, that rope helps coming out, huh, dude? Oh, heck yeah, dude. That. One last thing, guys. I forgot to film that Toyota coming up. I was going to try to see what kind of car it oh, was. Oh, is it a Toyota? It's a little car, the first one. So All right, y'all. We pulled over because we've seen a really pretty area. But with these crazy, crazy hills and twists and turns, there's always a dark side. We see some kind of sign, like memorial, on the top of this mountain. So... I'm just going to crawl up the back and see what it says. Guys, Joel's acting a little bit crazy. He's saying he's going to crawl down to a certain car. And he's in really bad shape with his shoes. Joel, be careful if you come up here. Look how this is all crumbling. a river running through it we've driven so far we got to a point where we were just like should we turn around or not so we drove for about 20 minutes and we turned around we didn't find any more cars but now that we turned around we could look at the other side of the road I'm the driver and he's the spotter so yeah look Somebody's put some type of memorial up here. I don't want to get too close to the edge, but... Let's see what this says. It says JS 1944, rest in peace 2020. So... And it says JS on the other side. So, I'm not sure if this person died in a car accident up here. He could have possibly died right here. There's also another memorial in there. I'm not sure if I can get in there without falling. It looks kind of dangerous. Let me try to go to the other side and uh, see what I can do. Stay with me. Guys, when you're up here, it's all about safety. You make the wrong step. You can really fall and pretty much kill yourself. Especially like in areas like this. Where if you fall off this, you're going to land on your head and die. So right here is like another memorial. There's a chainsaw blade with like a maple leaf. I don't want to get too close to this edge, but this says 1961 2020 PJHW. And then it has a chainsaw blade with chains below it. See that? So someone put a memorial right here. Let me get the heck out of here before I fall. <laughs> this is kind of dangerous. Yeah, what once you get uh once you get gout, yeah. And then, then you become highly susceptible. I'll show you these sandwiches. Uh, this huge submarine sandwich I bought. Check this out. Look at the size of the sandwich. <laughs> well, are we going to look at it or are we going to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is an Italian trio. Joel's quite the comedy yeah, comedian Italian, today. Italian, put it in my face right now. <laughs> I don't want to touch it, so here, take the first one. I have a napkin and everything for you. Or you want to lay it down, and we'll put mustard and ketchup on it. Mm. Yeah, guys, there's uh, four. There's six pieces in here. Six huge pieces of massive, like a party sandwich. Stay with me guys, we're gonna have a little lunch.
And you're afraid to tip. <laughs> Dude, I'd say that's a phobia. Let me, see your, let me see your CV. Roger. Roger, Joel. Uh, get your gloves. You're going to need your gloves. Me you, you've got tick phobia, dude. Cover everything. <laughs> Cover it all. Let me see my. Let me see your CB. Put, put double underwear on. Double up the undies. <laughs> I'd go straight down. Jaws. I, I see a straight shot. All right, guys. We drove up and down this whole canyon. We can't find any more cars. We drove forever. Uh, one of my subscribers actually said there was a Chevy Aveo right past the area where we found the five cars in the last video we drove over there i didn't see anything they might have pulled it some cars if they're close to the road they pull them maybe the insurance pulls them i'm not really sure but i'm going through some crazy brush so i don't want to get attacked by ticks because i was up here last video like i said before they had three ticks crawling on me so i'm wearing a full tyvex bodysuit and I even taped the bottoms of my feet. I don't All right, guys. So we spotted this car the very first time we came out here. We hiked to it because it's kind of like in a weird area. Look, you have one little shelf. You have one little shelf right there in front of that huge ass bush. Yeah. So either you split to the right or you split to the left, and you go at an angle. And go at an angle. I'm thinking about just crawling over there to see if I could walk all the way down, but I'm not sure if I could do it, guys. So stay with me. Give me five minutes. I'm gonna walk to the end of that hump and see if it's doable. Eventually, it, eventually, it, it starts going down. It can go at an angle. Think we should lock the van? Look, it's over there. Unlock. We well, have the van open. I'm Joel, right here. If someone pulls up, is your wallet and stuff in there? Yeah, everything's in there. Somebody I, could pull up. There's and, no money in my wallet. Yeah, but I have my wallet. My cell phone's in the van. We can't leave it open. Being this far away, let's go close it. Hundred percent. You want to stand right here or what? Huh? Where do you want to go? You don't want to go here because I see two cactus just waiting for you. Really? Look at those two cactus. Yeah, try to go through that chute. Watch me. Okay. Guys, I've told Joel a hundred times to get on the other side of the guardrail. Really. He will not listen to me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is yours, right? Okay. Here we go. Start, start adding up the, the hours. Add up the hours. Come on, hours, 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 hours. I don't know if this thing rolled out. Okay, go here. Go, go, go. Wait. Okay. All right, guys. I'm hold, I'm holding on to the rope. Damn, this is steep. Why is this so steep and hard right here? It don't look like it's hard and steep, but it is. No, I'm good. <laughs> All right, now we're in tick territory. But I got these pants on, so I'm good. Perfect. Joel, it's perfect. It's a perfect, it's perfect. Perfect length, guys. Perfect length, 153 feet or 158 feet. No, it's good. So 
see now we're in waist high weeds guys that's the only part you got to really worry about but like i said we're double protected where, where did my Tess, are you there dude yeah i kind of tossed my hiking pole down i lost sight of it where'd it go Where in the heck did it go? No, I can't. I saw you toss it, dude, but I really couldn't say where it went. Holy cow, this thing is... This car is almost in half. And it appears the higher patrol has already been down here. They put X's on the tires. Whenever they put X's on the top and tires, it means it's been searched. Dude, you're Yeah, I'm here. I'm at it right now. Please don't be no rattlesnakes in here. Yeah, dude, don't worry. When you get packed up here, dude, you're below your first wreckage. You gotta come up. I'm at it. You're below your first wreckage. Guys, what am I looking at? <laughs> the car's actually... The car's bent in half or something. What in the heck? It's like a newer vehicle also. It's like a... A full size? That's a Power Stroke diesel. Wow. Guys, now I'm about to overheat because I'm in the suit, but. Guys, this frame on this truck, this power stroke, is literally bent in half. I don't even know what I'm standing on, but. Holy cow. It's a Dodge. 2500 or 3500 literally snapped in half four wheel drive look at the transfer case look at the frame right here holy cow there's one of the wheels i'm standing on as you can see we need to get over here man i hope this guy lived oh no this guy probably did not live Oh my God. That's the top of the roof. It's crushed down to the seat. It looks like somebody put a two by four in here, maybe to help, maybe to help get them out. I don't know. Oh, actually this is the passenger seat. The driver's side's over there. So, I wonder if the guy ever got out. I don't know. I don't see no ticks on me yet, guys, but I see a lot of stuff laying around. Look at this. Looks like somebody tried to unbolt apart right there, look. Somebody took the turbo, it looks like. All right, guys, I took a couple pictures. <clears throat> Let's walk around a little, this a little bit more to try to find out really what happened. This is where the truck crashed. As you can see, this is, there's oil leaking all over this rock underneath it. But uh, 
I don't think too many people have been down here because the terrain is too wicked and you know tick infested so this is just crazy wow I'm filming as much as possible. <sighs> Guys, let's yeah, try to go this way. Film everything you can, keep filming. But when you, gotta, when you come up and, and find out what these other chunks of wreckage are. There, there's, there's a big old chunk of wreckage right here coming up. Guys, so there's the hood right here. He's talking about that and then there's something right there which I think is part of a tonu cover but uh I can't believe how this uh guys can you see how that transfer case is snapped in half look right there look how this frame bent from coming down this hill just twisted and turned and bent unbelievable probably high speeds I'm not sure if this is a stolen recovery car or I really don't know I'm just happy I made it down here to film this to show you guys this is crazy It's a Ford F-250, possibly long bed, four-wheel drive, diesel. Son of a gun. Yeah, it has to be a long bed because it's huge. Keep coming up. Keep coming up. And, and, and keep looking to your left. Keep hey coming up and kind of moving to your left. You'll, you'll run directly into that piece of wreckage. <laughs> Look at these Lincoln welding gloves, brand new, but rats ate through it. Look at that. Brand new Lincoln welding gloves, and look, squirrels and stuff ate them. So he's talking about this right here. Do a straight line. That guy right there, what is that? Oh, wow, it's a job box. It's actually a construction job box. Yeah, look at that. And I feel sorry for whoever was in that truck. It looks like a bunch of junk in there. I don't see nothing special. Holy cow, guys. I think this one, to show the magnitude of this accident, we're going to have to put the drone in the air. You're, you're on a perfect path. To your left, right now, just stay on that path. Uh, okay, I see it. Angling up if you can, but yep, perfect. Uh, you're moving towards your left. Joel, I don't know if I can make up this hill with the suit on. I'm like boiling right now. This thing doesn't let, let no steam out. Well, I need, I'm, I'm up here growing icicles off the end of my nose because it's freezing out <laughs> cold up here. Guys, we made it. We made a video. We're gonna drive home a different way than we came. Don't worry about it, cause your rope's right there. Once you get that rope, keep that stick out in front of yourself and pull yourself up. Like I was saying, guys, we're gonna go home a different way. Cause there's some beautiful stuff out here, like. Man, I'm just happy to be alive today to experience just being out here. It's absolutely just beautiful. In this area, Ojai, guys, it's just like...
No rattlesnakes. I think it's too cold, guys, for the rattlesnakes right now. Joel, you'd be in hell if you didn't have a rope to get out of here. You would be in hell. Yeah, you would. You were scratching, <laughs> yes. clawing, digging, looking for a gopher hole, anything. Anything to grab a footing. Anything to get a boot in. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's the deepest part of the hill right here. Joel, if that guy went over in that truck, he didn't live. I feel sorry for him. Unless he got thrown from it. And he had a nice truck. Yeah, if he got thrown, he may have survived. He was like a construction worker. <laughs> Guys, my pole's sliding down. <laughs> this pole has caused me more problems today than anything. What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm coming up with a second rope where you go down on a second rope and uh, you tie it to one and I start pulling it up ahead of you and then if it gets snagged, you got more of this rope right here, we can send you down on two and then we can tie the, the stick off to one. It's alright. This part's hard, Joel, because it's too steep. Dooners, this is the steepest part right here. I know. Yeah, this is going to be a little pit right here. For sure. Well, I'm not letting go of this rope. You're going to have to get to the wind on this last pull. Yeah, this last pull is going to be the, the big one. Dooners, hit that bush right here if you can with this stick. Joel. Yeah. How the fire department get down here to get this guy out of here? How do you think? Same way you got down. On rope? On rope. On rope. Good one. Yep. But don't let your rope just lodge it. Don't let your rope just hold. Hanging. I could write a book about this. That's going to be a tough interception right there, Gunner. That's going to be a tough interception right there. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, right, right. Oh, 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 oh. Get it? Yeah. Oh, that was a close one. Man, I would have had a heart attack. Is there any cars coming? Huh? No. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. But when you have to stop right there, you'll be hanging. You're gonna be a cliffhanger. Yeah. Ooh, I feel like I got ticks crawling all over me. My nose is pouring water. I feel like I got like I got ticks in my eyes, ticks in my ears, <laughs> in my between my toes. Yep, there's not a tick on me, Dooner. I'm tick free. I hope I'm tick free. We're good, dude. I don't see anything crazy on me. Good, Joe, when I get to the top, I'm gonna strip the. I'm gonna run and strip this thing off <laughs> before I faint. Yeah, but we gotta check you for tips. Yeah, check me first. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, this is the hardest part right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and unfortunately, you got to reach over and grab that stick right there. Well, how would you get up this without a rope? Just sideways and pray? Yeah. Crawl? Yeah, with, with great exhaustion. 
no, 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 no. Yep. Very good. Okay, we did it. Good job, dude. Good job. I knew you could do it. I, I didn't say, I, I didn't promise. You see anything on me, Joel? Remember, they're the hold size. It, hold it, hold it, hold it. They're the size of a Tic Tac. Nope. I'm making sure every little speck, every speck that I see. Yeah. Oh, I ripped my crotch out. No, 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 no. No, dude, you didn't get any kicks on you at all. You're clean. I ripped my crotch out. Look, I wonder if any crawled inside. Oh, God. Uh, dude, this looks like a pretty clean climb right here. You see any ticks on that rope? I, I, that's one, dude, that's one thing I haven't perfected.